AMD is getting ready to shake up the professional GPU market in a big way. The company is preparing to launch its W9000 series GPU, a workstation-class monster that's not built for gamers, but for professionals who live and breathe performance. This isn't your everyday graphics card. It's a deep engineering leap aimed at those who deal with demanding workloads like AI development, machine learning, 3D rendering, scientific simulations, medical imaging, and high-resolution video production. At the heart of this upcoming card lies AMD's RDNA 4 architecture. This next-gen platform brings a completely re-engineered computational engine. One variant making the rounds in early leaks is labeled XDW, which likely points to an optimized configuration for dense compute workloads. That means we could be looking at extra-wide data paths, better scheduling systems, and more efficient parallel processing across massive workloads. While most consumer GPUs focus on frames per second and raster performance, the W9000 series takes a different route. It's designed to accelerate real work. From deep neural network training to building complex 3D environments in tools like Maya and Blender, this card is expected to handle it all with ease. One area where AMD seems determined to win is video memory. And for good reason. Professionals need massive amounts of VRAM, whether they're training AI models with billions of parameters or editing 8K raw footage in real time. The W9000 is rumored to pack between 32 and 48 gigabytes of VRAM, and there's even talk of versions going beyond that. More importantly, the memory is expected to be ECC-enabled, which stands for Error Correcting Code. This ensures accuracy in high-stakes environments where one tiny glitch could ruin hours of work. Memory types might vary, but the high-end models will likely use either GDDR6 or HBM2E. If HBM2E is used, the bandwidth advantages would be massive, giving data-intensive applications the room they need to breathe. From AI training to film editing, this makes the W9000 an absolute beast. Now let's talk AI. While NVIDIA has dominated this space with its tensor cores, AMD is bringing its own game plan. The W9000 is expected to support highly parallel matrix compute functions, which will allow it to compete in deep learning and machine intelligence workflows. These aren't dedicated tensor cores, but AMD's approach still offers a lot of power, especially when paired with its ROCM software ecosystem. ROCM stands for Radeon Open Compute, and it's AMD's way of building a bridge between hardware and software for AI developers. It supports major frameworks like PyTorch and TensorFlow, meaning professionals don't need to reinvent the wheel when switching to AMD. With ROCM and HIP, AMD's heterogeneous compute interface for portability, even software written primarily for NVIDIA hardware can be ported to AMD platforms with relatively low effort. This gives developers real flexibility. You're not stuck in a one-brand ecosystem. If AMD continues to improve HIP, more CUDA-based applications could run smoothly on Radeon hardware, which would be a big win for both developers and users alike. But raw compute and memory aren't the only story. AMD is making a major leap with PCIe 5.0 support. This interface doubles the data bandwidth compared to PCIe 4.0. In real-world terms, that means faster communication between the GPU and CPU. And for workloads like real-time rendering or AI inference, where milliseconds matter, this bandwidth boost could make a major difference. Thermals are another area where AMD is stepping up. Workstation GPUs often run under load 24-7, sometimes for weeks at a time. Keeping them cool is critical not just for performance but for system stability. AMD is reportedly focusing on thermal efficiency with the W9000, using technologies like vapor chamber cooling, custom axial fans, and advanced heat pipe systems. This design could help maintain peak performance for longer, without the throttling issues that sometimes affect NVIDIA's professional cards. Even though ray tracing is commonly associated with gaming, it's also crucial for professional users. Architectural visualization, virtual cinematography, and real-time rendering tools like Unreal Engine all use ray tracing to simulate light behavior. The W9000 is expected to feature new ray accelerators that improve both speed and accuracy for these types of workloads. If you're working in 3D pipelines like V-Ray, Blender, or Houdini, this kind of ray tracing performance can save hours of render time and help preview scenes more realistically during production. 
lighting and shading become easier to dial in when your GPU can reflect those changes instantly. Display support is also leveling up. High resolution and high refresh rate displays are a must-have in many studios today. The W9000 will likely support multiple monitors at once, with DisplayPort 2.1 and HDMI 2.1 outputs. That means native support for 8K displays at 60Hz and 4K displays up to 240Hz. HDR10, Dolby Vision, and deep color bit depths will likely be part of the package too. If you're editing color-critical video or working with CGI assets that require pixel-perfect previews, these display options matter. Being able to output to multiple ultra-high resolution monitors without stutter or lag puts AMD in a good position with creative professionals. Now let's shift to software certification. AMD is putting effort into getting the W9000 certified for the most popular professional applications. Think Adobe Premiere Pro, After Effects, DaVinci Resolve, Autodesk Maya, 3ds Max, Revit, SolidWorks, Siemens NX, and ANSYS. These aren't just rubber stamp approvals. These certifications mean optimized drivers, tested stability, and smoother performance across the board. When you're working on a client project or managing tight deadlines in a production pipeline, stability is key. One crash can cost hours. Certified GPUs reduce that risk and ensure better integration with the tools you rely on every day. Software support is also expanding thanks to AMD's commitment to open standards. APIs like OpenCL, Vulkan, and DirectX 12 Ultimate are all part of the plan. That means better compatibility across platforms and broader support from developers. AMD is also continuing to push HIP SDK as a serious alternative to NVIDIA's CUDA. If they keep gaining traction, this could open doors to users and companies previously locked into Team Green. In terms of raw performance, the W9000 is projected to deliver 40 to 60 teraflops of FP32 compute. That's a massive leap over previous workstation cards. But it's the FP64, double precision floating point performance, that will matter most to researchers, engineers, and scientists. For academic simulations, weather modeling, fluid dynamics, and advanced financial analysis. High FP64 throughput is essential. AMD knows that, and they're designing this card with those professionals in mind. What's perhaps most exciting is how future-ready this card really is. The W9000 isn't just a spec bump. It's being built to tackle the challenges of the next five years. Think generative AI, real-time collaboration in 3D environments, and virtual production pipelines for TV and film. The rise of platforms like NVIDIA's Omniverse has made it clear. The future of content creation. Drop your thoughts in the comments. If you found this breakdown helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more deep dives into the latest in GPUs, AI, and creative tech. Thanks for watching. Keep building. Keep creating. And we'll see you in the next one.